Well, Pat, uh, authorities have said that this was intentionally set, but there are still questions about how many people were involved in setting this fire. While video shows two people, witnesses say they have seen at least four people. As you can see, this laundromat was completely charged. You can still make out the washers and dryers, but everything is just a total loss as crews try to board this up. Security cameras captured figures around 4 a.m. running up to the La Cienega wash and dry laundromat in the strip mall at the corner of Atlantic and Alondra. Within seconds, a large flash and flames begin tearing through the building. Then the people run out. It's scary, yeah, it is scary. Employees at the nearby bakery were frightened and started recording the fire with their cell phones. Another security camera captured a different angle, showing the people coming from a car. Investigators say it appears to be a white four door sedan. Look closely at the left side of your screen as they enter the laundromat, and again, within seconds, the flash and fire. There were potentially four suspects who entered the building, and 10 seconds later, a fire started. Battalion Chief Anthony Adams says they've heard from a number of witnesses. There's been people to approach us and let us know that there may have been a Molly Top cocktail involved. One witness who didn't want to go on camera told us he was parked on the street when the fire started and watched four men jump into a car and take off. Even more disturbing, he says they were laughing. They don't damage only themselves. They damage some fam work families, you know. Fernando Arruela's family owns the barbershop next door. The flames didn't get inside, but water and smoke did, damaging it and the building on the other side, a liquor store. I worry, maybe inside, maybe a lot of damage, maybe a few days I can open business. The business owners here told us they rarely see the laundromat's owner. Arwella says his family has run this barbershop for 26 years and isn't about to close shop. Even here to someplace house, that's all we need to do. And although witnesses did say that it was a Molotov cocktail, investigators actually say it was an incendiary device. And they are now hoping that they can look at more security video and talk to more witnesses to hopefully identify the suspects. Reporting live in Compton, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.